The Volumetric Fog and Mist Update 30 includes new ways to integrate the fog effect with transparent objects using Shader Graph. In this version, we have included the following new features, a demo scene with a particle system and transparent objects blending into the fog, two example shader graphs, lit and unlit, that use a custom function to calculate fog density, new APIs and a restructuring of the asset's shader code to make it easier to use with shader graph and other handcrafted shaders. With this approach, volumetric fog and mist must be rendered before transparent objects, for example, by setting the fog volume's render queue to 2,999. This way, transparent objects will render on top of the fog. The new custom function node in the shader allows modulation of the object's transparency. So, if there's dense fog above the transparent object, it should be nearly or completely invisible. Conversely, if there's no fog in front of the transparent object, it should render normally. Now, I will create a transparent object with a material that uses our included shader graph examples. You can pick lit or unlit. You can modify it accordingly to your project or integrate the custom node provided into your own shader graph as we'll see. First, we will create a custom node function with world position type vector 3 and screen UV type vector 4. The output is fog opacity and function name is get fog opacity. This custom node calls volumetric fog internal shader functions to calculate the fog density at the position of the pixel in the world. It returns zero if the fog completely hides the pixel and one if there's no visible fog or any value in between based on the fog amount. To configure the custom node, we have to add two input nodes world position and screen position of the pixel and connect them to the previous node in the corresponding slots. Finally, we add a new multiply node which connects to the transparent object alpha and the opacity node returned by the custom node and then connect the result to the alpha slot of the fragment. You can customize the different parameters in the shader graph to your needs and adapt them. In addition to integrating this custom node into the shader, there's another requirement. We must add the fog transparent object script to the transparent object and assign the fog volume we want to use. By default, it will use the scene's fog volume if none is selected. This script is responsible for passing all the fog volume parameters to the shader graph so that the fog density calculation function can work correctly. The advantages of this approach are no depth prepass is required for transparent objects, making it more efficient. It can be easily integrated, via shader graph, into other shaders. It avoids overlapping issues with multiple transparent objects. The disadvantages are, it requires modifying the transparent object's shader. The script must be added to each transparent object. Recommendations. Use this approach by default if your transparent shaders are compatible with shader graph. Some handcrafted shaders from the Asset Store may be difficult to adapt to shader graph or lack available variants. In such cases, they could also be integrated by directly calling the Compute Fog function from the Volumetric Fog and Mist HLSL library. Otherwise, use the previous custom depth prepass option with depth peeling, or adjust the render queue of the objects and fog volume to achieve the previous result.